peanut butter I want it right now Banana peanut butter When I get hungry and I really need a snack And my tummy starts growling like it's going to attack I turn to my daddy and I say Hey dad, hand me a banana pretty please and just a tad Of peanut butter on a spoon Make it quick, make it soon I'll let you get it ready while I sing this tune Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm Andy, this is Bianca, and uh, this is the hour of fun where you bring, we, we bring you really cool things that have come into the Pop Culture warehouse. We show them live, we give you a nice review of them, and then we also give away some prizes. And this week's prize is, of course, the Pop Culture exclusive Art with Clown with Glasses, Chance of a Chase, Pop Vinyl Figure, exclusively available here at Pop Culture. So uh, we've sold out of it in single form. You can grab it in a mystery box, but uh, someone's going to win it today, which is a lot of fun. So get ready. Um, if you want to win that, just leave a comment on the feed to go into the running. Because Courtney's here, she's looking for names. She's going to put those names, names on our prize wheel. And at the end of the pr episode, in roughly one hour's time, we're going to spin that wheel. People are going to win prizes. Everyone's going to have really, 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 really good time. So, without further ado, let's take a look at some fun things that have come in. <laughs> Why not start with some Loungefly? We have so much Loungefly, literally. We did over an hour's live stream yesterday with everything that's come in, but here's a, here's a little bit of a taste of that here a today. A smattering, if you will. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But speaking of taste, Smatter right, that on me. let's start with this Mickey and Friends uh, picnic Ooh, collection. It, these are scented. Yeah. Andy does not like yeah, it. Yeah, so Bianca's going to model these ones because yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Feel like I have not escaped this smell for two days. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, they they're great. Like they are. They like smell a, like berries. They're like a berry fresh smell. So which... what you show me is we get. Oh, there's a snip test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's real good because good, it's because it's a pie, right? Oh. It's a berry pie, so yeah. they smell like berries. You can also remove this bow if you would like yeah. as well. So Ooh. you can so you can just have a bowless yeah. pie. Right. Does the bow smell too? Separately, does that? The smell has gone onto it, but the smell's all in the actual pies. Okay. Yay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's a segment that I like to call, let's talk about our favorite flavor of pie. Luke, you go. <laughs> Ooh, favorite flavor of pie. I, I, I'm a classic, I like cherry. I'm cherry? I'm a real sucker for cherry. I'm a sucker for a cherry pie as well, but my wife makes a banging blueberry that I really, a really enjoy. A banging blueberry, yeah. I like that. Pumpkin pie with a maple cream. Yeah. What's right up there? That's, that's, a, that's a creepy pie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Your pie. Pie? I don't eat a lot of pie, right. honestly, so I cannot Surely comment. you have eaten a pie? I've eaten non-sweet pies. I've had, like you meat. know, like meat pies. So meat. I That's guess... A rogue answer, I like it though. Regular I, old Sweeney Todd over here. Meat yeah. pies. <laughs> yeah. Meat pie sauce. <laughs> um, speaking of pies though, we've got more pies to look at, right? Ooh. We have this mini backpack. What's in here? Well, Andy, it's a pie, but a coin purse. <laughs> no, 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 no. It comes with a little attachment in here, so you can attach it there uh -huh. or unattach it, which is pretty cool. Carabina. There we go. Isn't that cool? Look at and that. it comes in a little Look picnic that. basket. Look, avocado. That's yeah. weird. That's a weird. Hey, man, I love avocado, so watch what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is why I can't afford a house. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it comes in a little picnic basket, which is really cute. Um, front pocket behind that, big major pocket, and all the Disney characters, Whoa, and a gingham print. The hard this is sensitive yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the newer version of Disney, There's right? There's a blue pie there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a banging blueberry pie? Does your uh, wife's pie look like that? I would bang that blueberry pie. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look of this avocado. Oh, yeah. look at that, look at that. And yeah, the ice Pluto's cream. looking like he's keen too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, backpack. Um, we also have a really cute um, crossbody bag in this collection Ooh. with a gingham strap and everything. All the characters on the bag. Look at them. Ooh, cute. Um, and a bow on the front and everything. Comes with a crossbody strap and has that... Um, Banging lining. What a yeah. strange I mean, assortment of picnic hot dogs. It's hot dogs, 
there's pies, so there's, there's cheese. Avocado, the there's avocado ice cream, with the blueberries, there's watermelon, cheese. there's cheese, <laughs> cherries. But look, they all have hidden Mickeys everywhere, which Lounge Pie is very good at. See, look, the and watermelon see, seeds are, are Mickey heads, yeah. and the avocados are Mickey heads. Where is the it cheese on, is a where Mickey is it head. On the hot dog? It's on Oh Boy. Oh Boy! Yeah, see? Oh boy. It's a mustardy boy. And Where? even even the flowers have some hidden Mickeys. Where's the Mickey? Right there. Mickey. No, on the hot dog. Oh, no, boy. I mean the hidden the hidden Mickey. Is not the Mickey. Is the, the oh the boy. It's a reference. It's and you might think the cherries don't have it, but look how they're put together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. oh. Wow. Lounge fly is so good there. at that. Hopefully so that good at it. that. Okay, we also have a new uh, lounge fly silhouette here. Okay. So you might think it's just a crossbody bag. Yeah, I do. But but it, it's not. It's not because look at this. You you, you open it up. Uh, yes. You have nice room for a out. cup holder in here. Ooh. So this is their cup holder crossbody bag. Um, as far as I know, they Let's haven't do done this Let's design do before. Do yeah, 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 yeah. So it's pretty cool. Like when you go on your picnic, you can. You Excuse can me. Picnic. Uh, <laughs> what is this, happening with this range? This this is actually a really great festival bag. Oh yeah, absolutely. So you can keep all your stuff with you, strap it up. You got your it's got a strap in here, right? Yep. Yeah. And yeah, then you does. got your water bottle with you. you yeah. Stay hydrated. You got your drink and then yeah. Yeah. Mickey's in the front. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you can keep it close to your body yeah. in the festival as well, which is a big in, thing for me. I like my bags to remain close to my body so yeah. I feel like everything's safe. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um in the, <laughs> we've also got um a midi backpack pencil case. Um, so this has a front pocket for like your erasers and sharpeners and whatever. You can put all your pencils in the side here. Um, and it features Pluto on the back with some ants. <laughs> um, and it has a lobster clip so you can um, clip it on to existing Loungefly products. Excellent which stuff. is really cool. So if you're like, oh man, I don't have my stationery and my mini backpack's full. Oh no, you can just clip it on and it's fine. Like this, like it's this. It's really good. Like yeah, 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 yeah. That's just clip it on. Here, yeah, it's great. Boom. Awesome. Last piece in this collection is an accordion wallet. These things have changed my life. If you don't have an accordion wallet, you should get one. And I'll show you why. Ba-bam. This they is don't look big so good. Hey, I fit a lot of stuff in my Spider-Man themed accordion wallet. Where's my regular Lounge old Fly? man wallet? Let me put, let me Yours put. is a freak of nature, mate. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you got the George Costanza <laughs> wallet. My receipts. It's terrible. <laughs> you got more cow here. But like, it's so great because you can access everything straight away and find it, it straight away. It fits. It's very good. It fits. Yeah, can yeah, endorse because I right. use this every day. Well, a Spider-Man one, but still. Yeah. It's so good, easy, convenient. It's great. Now, speaking of Disney, we have Wedding Disney. So we've had a collection come in before, but this is different. Yep. This is an iridescent version. Um, and it's so, so pretty and elegant and pearl classy. Life, yeah, so we've got like a pearl handle and everything too. Oh, and oh. the really cool oh, thing. My. Oh my. Clutching the pearls. The cool thing about this though is it comes with an interchangeable bow. Because it's normally on your neck and that's why you go, oh. But look, it comes with an interchangeable bow so that can pop off and then you can put a wedding themed one on there. I it's felt like this was wedding it. enough. But it got more wedding. Yeah, yeah, it got more wedding, right? It's so good. And then... Oh, and that's, you can take that off and then you can throw it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. And there is also a wristlet wallet to match, which Take is really cool. So, ooh, and we've got some cute hidden little Mickey, Mickeys. hidden Mickeys. And um, this is a detachable wristlet, so you can kind of use it as a clutch uh -huh. or a wallet. Whichever you like. You so options, right? Quilted. Um, it's nice. It's yeah, nice. It's um, real good. There's Next, uh, yeah. Make the most of your wedding day. Get this. Lilo and Stitch. Hammocked. Ooh. Yeah. Camping oh. cuties. That is what there's, this collection is called. There's some palm trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got Stitch and Scrump in a hammock, and you can lift that up if you like. Scrump and then you've got this really nice scenic view here with like embroidered like foliage and stuff like that. Hanging out. It's really cute, it's isn't it? And there is a matching wallet to that as well. And look, they're roasting marshmallows. The back, that makes lantern. me hungry. They've got, oh, they got s'mores. I know. Man, s'mores, makes me so pies, hungry. Embroidered palm trees there. It's really nice. Oh, Mixed nice. media. Yeah. And then matching on the wallet too. S'mores. Pretty. Yes, very Give good. Give me some more of that. <laughs> also, in terms of Lilo and Stitch, we yeah. have a uh, cosplay journal. Is that fuzzy? 
Yes, it is a plush journal. Touch and test. these are refillable. Oh, it passes the touch test. It does. Ooh. And he's got weird textures. Oh, I yeah. have issues. <laughs> um, <laughs> So this is a refillable journal. So that means once you've used all the themed paper inside, fear not because you can take that part out put it, and put more paper in, which is really good. So, uh, you know, if you have a notebook that you love using, but it's hard to write in it because you just want it to last forever, you can buy this and you can just refill it and have no fear ooh, of ooh, never ooh. being able to use a good cover. And my favorite part of this, my favorite part of this, it's got a zipper on the back so you can actually put some pens and stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're never without, you're never without when, you, when, the, when the inspiration strikes. Yep. Yeah, because we all know uh, what that's like. Yeah. yeah, always at the worst time. Yeah. Always at where's the worst time. Where's the pen? I don't have it. There it is, in the back. <laughs> New paper. We also have a Doug themed one, and he's got squishy, squishy plushy ears, which I love. And a, oh, the nose yeah, is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And an embroidered I face and everything. Time, oh, well, here's a squirrel <laughs> and some clouds and stuff lined on the inside. And again, this is refillable as well. And Good. we have another journal. This is a lunchbox shaped journal. My adventure book. From Upright. This is celebrating 15 yes. years of Up, this whole collection that's come in. But when you open this up, oh. you have thermos shaped. Uh, Little notes. Yeah, Little sticky, sticky notes, notes, which is really cool. All themed pages and everything. And there is what some artwork in the middle here somewhere. Uh, oh, so hang on. There we go. Isn't that nice? That's great. Yeah, it's really, awesome. really cute. That is good. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. a little pen, elastic little loop for a pen in there as well. So never without, never without. Yeah, Loungefly know how to help us creatives, right? They also cool. know how to help you celebrate up. Look at this. So this is really cute. Young Carl and Ellie in the um, hot air balloon going on an adventure. Um, grape soda badge right here. It's even got the That's pin nice. behind it and everything. Awesome. Got clouds everywhere. I love how they've done the yeah, actual yeah, balloon yeah. basket, right? It's really cool. And their drawings are like featured throughout it too, which is Sweet. really, really cool. And then we also have a convertible tote bag here. So you can wear this as a backpack. Mm -hmm. There is a crossbody strap in here that Whoa, is balloon, which is amazing. And of course you can carry it like a tote. So three ways you can wear this bag. How sick is that? Each to their own. Let me try yeah. this on backpack style. Yeah. And it's a really cool design, right? Just sure classic up house in the sky, off it goes. You know, it is really, really cool. Looking good. Looking great, Andy. Now it's got like side drop pockets so you can put um, yep. all sorts of things He's in. <laughs> He's, there's a slip pocket down the front here and a whole bunch of other compartments inside too. So Take you can really organize your things. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> also in this up collection, we have a Kevin themed card holder. Yes, very cool. And we also have Ooh. a Doug Cross Buddies bag. Cross Buddies? What, what's a Cross Buddy bag, you say? I'm sure one of you said it. I'm going to show you anyway. So they are designed a bit like a passport bag. Uh -huh. They're also a Cross Buddy bag. They do come with a Cross Buddy strap, but you can open this up, uh -huh. right? You can remove this coin purse. Okay. You can flip it round to the other side. Ooh. Or if you don't need it, you can just not use it. So you can just have full Doug belly. So you got tennis balls here. or the little birdies from the end. Yeah. That's nice. Isn't that That's adorable? Nice. Um, so yeah, basically cross buddies bags are just there to be a buddy and they even come with their little buddies. That's yeah. Right, straps in nice and safe. It's got a little clip. It's really good. Yeah. It's really, really cute and it's all plush, so it's really fun. Soft. Yeah, super soft. My little pony. Next up, yes, My Little Pony. Obsessed. Color block collection. Love the colors on this. This is like the My Little Pony that I grew up with, so it's all very exciting to me. We've got all the ponies, well, so many ponies all over this collection. And we also have, which I'm really excited about, um, cosmetic bags. Whoa. So lounge I haven't done any cosmetic bags in a while. So this is a set of three. So you have this big one here with some clear PVC and a nice little hit on the back there. Then you have a smaller one. Oh, it's a seducting bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. And another smaller one yes. in there, which is so cute on oh, our Loungefly Live Did yesterday. Do you have a lot of play fights? You know where you Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> um, on the Lounge Fire Live yesterday, we were talking about how it's a bit like those nesting dolls of the bushkas, you know? Yes. They all just nestle in nicely together, allowing you to organize all your cosmetics, or if you choose not to put cosmetics in there, all your little trinkets. Trinkets. Very nicely. Yes. We yes. also yes. have Conscious. snacks, well, snack bags. Mm. This this Miles. may be a snack to some people. Oh, mm. hello. Lenticular, yo. So um, you have Miles in his hoodie from Spider-Verse and- Masked, unmasked. Yeah, isn't it cool? And it's got all the textures, like all these Spider-Verse cool textures. I <laughs> love that they've done the half tone in like a like a, an embossed finish. Yeah. Like that's really yeah. cool. It's really, really well done. And we have like, hello, I'm Miles on mm -hmm. the back, which is really cool. And we'll take a look at this lining too, because oh, look at that. It's all Miles logo. It's, dun, it's dun, glitching dun. out like in the Spider-Verse and everything. Really, really cool. And we have a Miles um, zipper charm there, you know, like yep. the comic book. Yellow kind of like, statements. Yeah, 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 it's cool. Exactly. It's cool. You know what's up. But you know what's like the coolest piece to me? You know, it's a starring piece. You know, it's the crowning piece with true pink on it. Is it this? No, it's not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, so Loungefly have finally done another Spider Gwen crossbody bag based on Across the Spider-Verse and look at it. It's beautiful. It also has that deboss effect to bring the um, textures of her suit to life. See, ooh, mini texture, very good. Um, we have a spider emblem as the clasp here, which is really yeah. cool. And the Maybe lining. Double as a comb if someone's happened to have broken. Yeah, you it can know. be like a dingle hopper, like yep. aerial. Anyway, um, really pretty lining on the inside, her webbing and a chain and faux leather strap mm. as well. And it is just, you gonna it's, get it? you it's gonna get beautiful. It? You're gonna get it? Yeah, I have one to pick up. I'm taking it home with me. You're getting it up. There you go. <laughs> we also have a wallet yeah, in this, this collection. Is this like falling Gwen Stacy about to break her back or is she just, No. She's just hanging upside down. No, seat. she's just, she's having a moment. She's having her time. And Miles is just there like, oh, hey. Yo, you're about to break your back. No, he's literally like, he's doing the, sh he's thinking the shoulder thing in his head. Like, hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Train tracks on the back. Is she hanging from the tracks? Or is this a... Under the tracks? Reference? I don't know. It's a very That's... moody wallet. I really it's very, like it. It is. Yeah. Oh. It's really cool. It's got some angst to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's like the portals that you'll see in the in film. Spider -Verse. Like the hexagonal thing. Which is really, really cool. Now we are nearly through lounge fly. We have Whoa. an inside out crossbody bag available. This is really cute. So we've got all like yeah, we've got all the emotions and we've got this lovely like pearl, um, what's the word? Handle, yes, yep. handle here, shaped like the core memories, which is really, oh, really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A penny just dropped that yeah, awesome. exactly. Ah, cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah, I love it. Clutch those. Yeah, now we have a new line that yeah. Loungefly are doing called collective. collective. Collective by Loungefly. So not your true Loungefly brand, though no, this is a collective line. Uh, collective, collective with no E, um, <laughs> but no accents either. I don't know. There are more, I guess, mature approach to the lounge fly aesthetic. They are more minimalistic and a bit more, I'm not gonna say gender neutral, but a bit more, um, a little bit more masculine than some of the other designs mm. from um, lounge fly to date. They feel a bit more sporty. They do. Yeah. They are a bit more of that urban kind of street look, like understated yeah. fandom. Yeah. Um, and, and these are catered to artists as well. Yeah. Um, so they are quite a higher price point. Yeah. Yeah. So they're a bit more of a premium release. Um, and you get fun features like this zipper. Oh. oh. That is actually oh. like the logo um, of Jujutsu Kaisen. Like it is, there's quite a lot of, you know, premium elements here. You got this. Um, um, uh, like mesh with the with the logo stitched on. Uh, you got the Jujutsu Kaisen stitch strap. Um, inside, you've got uh, a oh. lot of pockets. A lot, a lot of pockets. Really, really versatile bag. Jujutsu Kaisen lining in there. Um, really, really nice release and um, a more, uh, yeah, as I said, 
Kind of a more neutral tone. Yeah. yeah. So they call this bag the influencer based on this whole kind of collective range is catering to artists. So the things that you would need to create content, mm -hmm. um, lounge white catering to that. Yeah. Yeah. Like this backpack, so for instance. It's a full size backpack. Yeah. So this is called the gamer. So this is so you can bring in your laptop. Your laptop. Headphones. There's a lobster hook for like your keys and everything in here. There's all sorts of these wicked compartments so you can easily fit everything in that you dude. need. You think it's a headphone strap thing? Yeah, it's where yeah, your headphones yeah, come out. Yeah. So you can put your, you can put your. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you can put your. I don't know. For people who still use cords, <laughs> yeah. 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 you can put your iPod in here, and then your headphones can come out. Yeah. 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 But we've got like well, pockets here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we have like a small pocket here, another pocket there, another pocket here, another mm. pocket there. I just da, really, da, 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 da. I really, really love the zipper treatment, having the... Um, the discreet. Yeah. Zip. Yeah. And you've got like so many compartments in here. Oh, Look at this. Whiz. Like these yeah, are really good. They've even got like oh, these boy. little hooks and everything too. Um, and all these slip drop pockets. Slip where you can drop. So slip drop. These would be a set, as a set, like a really good travel kind of oh, like, you get passport and everything in here. Um, and then in here, Ooh. you've got everything else you would need because you've so many pockets. That, like, yeah. that is plain ready. feels nice. And it's, yes. it's going to wick away any sweat. So if you've got this tight, you know, tight on yeah. your body, it's going to... Yeah. It's going to... So if you're having a little joggy woggy down mm. the beach, so you yeah. get a sweat up. And same with the back of this backpack, right? Yeah. They've yeah. done the same treatment on this as well. So it's a really that good, is... like... All rounder kind of bag, yeah. right? But they've made sure that they're catering to creators yeah. to yeah. make things a lot more easy and convenient. And while having that understated, as you said, minimalist fandom yeah. kind yeah. of going on. It's nice. really cool. Are you it's creative nice on the grove? Join the, the collective. Yeah. Yes. Join the By collective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we've got some Transformers uh, figures that have come in from Hasbro. Let's take a look. For, uh, we've got um, uh, Cybertron Universe Starscream. Um, part of the Takara Tomy line. Uh, and then we've got uh, Legacy United Star Raider Ferric. Classic. Transforms in 31, 31 steps. This cool uh, little spaceship thing. This one transformed in 26 to another little spaceship thing. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Transformers Legacy United Beast Wars Universe Silver Bolt. Is that like a griffin or something? Yeah, it's a silver bolt. And it transforms. Yeah. 27 steps. Cool. Celebrating 40 years Transformers. We've also got some uh, from Godzilla uh, X Kong, The New Empire. Um, we have some SH Monster Arts figures. Uh, this is uh, Kong, um, super deluxe figure. Brilliant uh, likeness of the character. Um, you've got uh, little glossy um, glass eyes in there. You've got um, really great uh, detailed sculpted scarring. Yeah, the um, scars. The fur is all really, really good. SH Figure Arts and Monster Arts are really, really great um, quality um, premium figures for this scale. Uh, so they are a higher price point, uh, but uh, what you get is uh, a really, really well thought out, um, brilliantly executed collection. So we've got Kong and we've got. Um, We've got, uh, Godzilla. we've got Godzilla as well, Godzilla. Um, which, yeah, let's take a look at that. Nice, uh, kind of like metallic um, yeah. on the painting on the scales there. A little, little hard to tell through the double, the double shiny packaging there, but yeah. for you folks at home. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, there we go. go. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, really, really nice brilliant. finish. Uh, great articulation. Oh, that looks great, the blue. Um, and uh, yeah, a must have. Uh, Monster Arts, check them out from Bandai. Um, oh, yeah. It's Friday night, so what better way to forget your worries than by taking a little sip from a tiki? And we've got some wonderful new releases from our friends at Geeky Tiki's. Starting at the top here, we've got uh, Hannibal Lecter. Um, uh, he's, he's ready uh, to cannibalize. Um, I don't know what cocktail I would put in that. Um, <laughs> Something bloody, oh, like bloody a Bloody Mary, Mary. Um, yeah. Maybe something uh, wine-based. Um, yeah. Something red. Like nice no, so, yeah. <laughs> um, we've also got, uh, uh, this is pretty, no, this is uh, the, it's Jeep's mm -hmm. Creeper. Creeper. Um, then we've got uh, Sully and Boo from uh, Monsters, Inc. Kitty. Hey. We've got <laughs> uh, Fozzie on VK. 
uh, from the Muppets. Yeah. Um, Perfect. He's in theme. He's got his own little, uh, little, you know, coconut cocktail going there, waka, which is nice. Waka, waka, um, waka. Then we've got Buzz Lightyear from Star Command. And these are all um, the, what's the, the glazed uh, and the... Yes. Yes. So you've got individual colors. They're all dipped. You know, you remember doing them in, in high school. This is how they... Yes, how they ceramics. Ceramics. Yeah. Real, real ceramics, um, Yay. which is, you know, I love nice. real ceramics. Uh, then we've got Woody. They're all in, uh, you know, um, I guess, uh, mid-century Polynesian yeah. uh, tiki style, so a little bit of appropriation there, but that's, you know. Again, geeky um, tiki. We've got no Wednesday, that Wednesday yeah, Adams um, from, uh, from the Wednesday show. Yep. Uh, and things on her shoulder there. But if you're thinking, this is my favorite one, if you think you wanted something a little bit... Um, more thingy than check this tiki mug out. Look how wide that that rim is. You can get a lot of yeah. You can get a sure. lot of drink in that. And I like them in the negative space. They've made it wood because historically, yeah. kind of tiki's that were designed after wooden sculpted and whittled. Yeah, um, like totem sort of. Stuff. Yeah. So um, they filled it in with you know a wooden base. But that's a really nice tiki mug. Going down a layer, we've got. Uh, we'll start up here. We've got. Um, Krampus. Krampus. So uh, if you're looking for a cr Christmas cocktail, look no further. This Mold is the wine. one to go. Yeah. And then we've got Dracula. Do you know some monsters? Um, if you're looking for some Long Island iced tea party, then we've got a couple of releases here. We've got um, we've got uh, the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Hatter, um, which you know you could. Lace this drink with whatever you want. <laughs> Have a great time. I like the wood, the again, that wood uh, motif they've run through. It's really, really nice. And they do it. They do it in all of them. They yeah, add. They yeah. add kind of the the wood grain, the wood grain in all of them, and it looks really, really nice. And um, here Mike we have Wazowski. Michael Ga Wazowski from Monsters Inc. And we've got uh, what's his name? Name from yeah. Coco Miguel. Miguel. And then uh, back onto the Muppets, we've got um, we've got Miss Piggy. Uh, we've got Gonzo. <laughs> And um, we've got uh, Kermy. Kermy himself. Um, himself. Oh, Kermit the um, <laughs> So that one's really good. These ones are all in like kind of a tiki. I like, they're you know, like a Hawaiian shirt theme, which I like. They're all on holiday, which is cool. Yeah. And then we've got Max Rebo. Um, Everyone knows this tune. Yeah, Come on, do. sing it in the chat. Uh, it's yeah, Max yeah, Rebo yeah. Uh, band. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, so that's fun. <laughs> um, and then we have a clone trooper of some sorts. I think, yeah, this yeah, this is the, oh no, so that's the shore trooper. Yeah, this is a trooper. It's a trooper. It's a trooper. Uh, below that we've got the shore trooper. Yes. And then we've got Princess Leia. Then we've got a clone trooper. Uh, Captain Rex, I think it is. And then we've Jesus. got Obi-Wan Kenobi, I'm assuming. By the beard, and then we've snow got trooper. a snow trooper, and then back on Alice in Wonderland, we've got the, the evil queen. Uh, we've got Ursula, um, and then we've got Cruella de Vil. Bit of puppy juice in that one. Hmm. Uh, and then we've got Maleficent and Captain Hook, and these have some really nice metallic paint uh, yeah, accents on those as well. So, um, no matter what your fandom, you've got a uh, you know a, a beverage. Um, holding um, device to take to your next uh, fancy island of soiree. Yes. Um, geeky tiki's. Yes. Yay, geeky Have tiki's. Have a big blast. Have a geeky tiki. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the big boys. Ooh, the big boys are on the table. Are you talking about this and this? Or are you talking Ooh. about this? The big Ooh. boys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so here we have two new Hulk releases from Sideshow Collectibles. Let's start off with the Thunderbolt Ross Red Hulk. This is a retailer exclusive item. Now, what that means is that this combination of Red Hulk body and Red Hulk head are only available outside of Sideshow Collectibles website. Which means they're not retailing this item themselves, only retailers who 
are officially partnered with Sasha Collectibles are able to sell this item. So, and who's one of those retailers? Well, Pop Culture, of course. Oh, wow. Um, of course, Australia's leading source for Sasha Collectibles items. We have the Thunderbolt Ross Red Hulk retailer exclusive item. And this is a really, really, really nice piece. Now, you might be thinking, Red Hulk. Well, yeah, but what about Green Hulk? Well, we've got that as well. Uh, this is the standard version. So I've released four versions of this. Two green, two red, different heads on the different releases. This is the retail exclusive. This is the classic Hulk statue. So let's take a look. Sculpts are the same, except for the heads. Um, so we can touch on kind of the, you know, the dynamic launching pose. Uh, each of the bases are identical. They've got really, really kind of this great impacted, blown apart street scene with uh, rebar sticking out, pipes blown open. So um, you mentioned the um, the anti gravity like pose. Yeah, that this it's insane. Into, like how they've uh, engineered this, this to carry the weight. This of that. this body is heavy. Yeah, and it is. They've but they've managed by arching it back. Yes, for gravity to kind of sit. And flow through like the, the, the engineering that goes into these large-scale um, dynamically posed statues just it's it's mind-boggling. Like, so there's one connection on here, folks. There's it's one peg. The foot. Yep. That's the only place he's connected to the base there, and then and his heels, his heels this. not even on there. Like it's just no, no it's his tippy toes, <laughs> tippy toes uh, clipped in. And beyond that, he's airborne, um, and it's really, really nice. Crazy. And the, the the sculpt's great. With the Red Hulk, you've got uh, he's got his gray. Uh, gray pants, gray jeans there. And um, yeah, Luke, I'm gonna get you to, together. I'm just gonna show you the, the, the paint detailing on this, the, and the sculpting, the feet are uh, incredibly detailed, but with the treatment, they've actually got uh, like the cracked heels and yeah. all of the, the dirt and grime of him running barefoot. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but earlier I noticed they've even got like, like, the, um, like the print, like the skin print on the ends of these Oh, oh, that's wild. neat. If you can get in there, right? Mm. It's probably pretty hard to take, pick up. It's a, like a really there is skin texture, and these texture. these are like really really accurate, um, but really really nice. This is butt. Let's take a look at that. Poor detail on um, the skin. It's crazy. The weathering on the um, pants and like yeah. it's blowing apart at the seams, and they've got perfectly painted. Red Hulk detailing underneath there. Yeah, this is great down here. Like they're only just holding together. <laughs> um, the remnants of, uh, you know, he's tucked in shirt above, which yeah. is cool. And then the muscular details on his back are really, really awesome. Um, oh, very the hair. The, the hair. I was going to say, so it's like individually detailed. sculpted. Yeah. It's insane. It's wild. Really, really good. Um, so that's the exclusive Red Hulk. And then we've got Green Hulk, same sculpting, same details, but uh, classic long head, fringe of the, the, the yeah. forehead, Hulk face. This is really, really, really good. And like those shiny teeth grit as well. Yeah. Look at the treatment on them teeth. That's um, real, real good. It does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Really, 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 really nice. Um, again, the veins, the skin texture, the finely detailed nipples, uh, it's all there. Everything you expect in a Hulk statue, um, you can find this. I really love the the the, uh, the color treatment on the hair as well. You got these green strands yeah. um, that are that are breaking through, um, and it's really you know. <sighs> Sideshow collectibles know how to sculpt a statue. They do. Yeah. They really um, do. They really do. And we've got these two new awesome. Hulk releases. Then you're going to need to get both, right? Um, they're nice companion off. pieces, yeah. Um, add them both to your collection. They're both available right now. They're in stock on the website. So what are you waiting for? Go get them. Uh -huh. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Yeah, okay. we got some Batman stuff. Yeah, we got some Batman stuff, including this utility belt replica from NECA, which is pretty cool, Put right? it on. L look, Put look, it on. Wonder Woman. Like yeah, it's wearable. Yeah, 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 it's wearable. Like, but yeah. check out all the stuff that it comes with, right? Sick. Torch. Scanner, rebreather, smoke bombs, communicator, oh. <laughs> taser, micro camera, camera, <laughs> camera, gas pellets, yes, yeah, and a grapnel launcher. No, it's, you it's, literally got everything. You don't feel like Batman yes. when you put this on. It it's is based really on cool. Michael Keaton's Batman Hell from the '89 yeah. film, yes. um, which is that classic stark yellow 
yeah, kind of belt, yeah. which is really, really good. Yeah. Matches the logo really well. This is cool. I'm into yeah. this. Yeah, this is really, so really good. If you want to get nuts, get nuts. Yeah. yeah. Let's get nuts. Really good uh, cosplay clips in, It's wearable. Well. It is cool. Yeah. It is very cool. It is really, really cool. But you know what else is cool? <laughs> the yes. Batmobile. So if you're collecting the McFarlane DC Universe line of figures, you might be thinking, oh, I've got a lot of Batman figures, but I have nothing to put them in. Well, oh. here we go. Oh, couple, yes. Couple of the solution to all my problems. We have. I don't know how to open this one. Wowzers. So this is the original Tumblr from Batman Begins uh, before it gets the... Does it come in black? Paint job. Yeah. Um, um, so you can fit Batman and um, Morgan Freeman in here if you want. Um, it's got articulated little pew pews on there. Um, the the opens collapse is really good. Uh, this doesn't have a steering wheel because it doesn't have a steering wheel in the film because you know it's. New Tight technology, stuff, but uh, it's got rubber off. wheels. Um, more on the back. Um, really, really nice. Really nice release. But if you think, yeah, that Rats. Batman's cool. That my Batmobile is cool. But everyone knows the best Batmobile of all time is from Batman the Animated oh, Series. So here we hit. Here we have it. It's the Batmobile from Batman the Animated Series in seven-inch figure scale. This thing is big. This thing is long. This thing is impressive. I'll go this thing matches your jacket. And say, it actually really does. Um, <laughs> it's like an extension of your jacket. Now there's been a DC, so this is part of the DC um, direct line that McFarlane have continued on. Once upon a time, there was this release in like a gray, but they've brought it to life in more of the blue finish. Mm. And in the show, blue represented black. So it was a bit more, um, it's a bit darker and it really, Blended really well into the uh, into the um, the real Art Deco mid um, you know mid century mid century lives, midnight yeah. feel of Gotham. The, they carry that gothic architecture does. right through the whole. Thing. So slide this open. It's really really good. And you might be thinking, yeah, that's really cool. But does it do anything? And I say yes, it does do things. So don't worry. The wheels turn. The wheels turn. Hang on, what's that? Is that a button? It is a button. If I just press what? that button. What does it do? What's the it? hair as well. Uh, look at that. It's lights. Ooh. <laughs> Does it have brake lights as well? Look at that. Hang on a minute. It's Can got you lights. Me? And you might be thinking, those lights are great, but what wait, about wait, the cockpit? What's that? Lights. Oh, what? Lights. Oh, mama. This that is, is sick. really, really, really good. You can fit two seven inch figures in there from the DC Direct line. Um, it slides closed. Uh, it's matte finish. Really, really nice. Really, really smooth. Uh, and looks straight out of the cartoon. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is one of the coolest looking vehicle designs ever. Yeah. It is so sleek and yep. just in your face and just has such a presence about it, yet it is just super sleek and just uh, emits power. Yeah, it's very right. cool. It's good. Super impractical, Tur turning circle like, I don't know, three kilometers, but it's... Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, you'd hope it looks it's a, amazing while it's doing that. You'd hope it's like so. all wheel try and get some kind of yeah. <laughs> dual axis yeah, yeah, thing yeah, yeah, yeah. just to pivot around. <laughs> um, or it's got a little pop open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah like go go gadget yeah. platform thing. Uh, but that's a really, really nice release from McFarlane and DC Direct. So uh, go and go and check Love that out it. online. You crash you man, Coot fan. Well, check this figure out from our friends at Head Start. We've got um, this Crash Bandicoot uh, classic figure, deluxe edition, so you can swap out Wonderful his. Fruit. You can swap out his mouth uh, for uh, the uh, the manic tongue look. You can swap his hands out for more of a closed fist, some closed fist action. Um, really, really nice design. Uh, I like that you can just swap the mouth out. That's a cool little feature. Yeah. Uh, not just full head. The way the head sculpted is, you know, it's enclosed. It his jaw. It does still have some neck articulation. So you can yep. swipety swipe it. Um, and then there's Whoa, other figures in this yes. collection that, you know, keep your eye out for these. Dr. Neo, Crash Bandicoot, Retro Crash, Biker Crash, and Coco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is classic, deluxe, OG. Crash Band yes. suit. Sweet. So come and check it out. We got some big bits, Bianca. Yeah, yeah. We have some Hasbro figures from Star Wars. <laughs> While we're on action figures, right? <laughs> Why would we go from action figures to fig pins and then back to action figures? 
Let's let's do let's. What do you want to do? Which one do you want to do? I think action figures okay. makes more sense. Okay. Could I just run with it? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> just threw it. All right. Yes. You just said you, nah. You threw me, guy, going straight to fig pins instead of well, more we'll action get, figures. We'll get to these in a second, folks. Are we going to? Yeah. So, Hasbro, Star Wars, we have um, Osha here from Star Wars The Acolyte. Oh. I have not seen this series, yeah, but uh, this is part of the black series that Hasbro do, so they are very, very cool figures. Yeah. Um, comes with backpack, a little doodad, and another doodad. Again, haven't seen the show, so, you know, My don't well, come this, for me. <laughs> this is great. This is her little droid friend, um, and this bit comes off, and she uses it as a tool. And yep. this is a little droid, and he does a lot of fun things. Beep, beep, beep. Um, and uh, she wears him in his little, and you can put him in a little, oh, that's little cool. pouch there, which is a lot of fun. What's um, that, zappy pow pow? That's a zappy pow pow. Um, you gotta, you can take, take that bag off. Um, really, really fun to put that bag on, the bag options. Accessorize. Got a water bottle in there with metallic Ooh. paint detailing, that's really fun. Get hydrated while you're uh, um, And then we've got uh, far, far Jedi Master Indara. Um, um, lightsaber. Trinity. From, uh, oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we've got uh, Padawan uh, uh, Jackie Long, um, yeah. which is uh, cool. And she's played by the actress that played uh, X23 in that Logan movie. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they both have yeah. soft goods robes, Jedi robes, and lightsabers. So, which is pretty some neat. Wicked releases from the Black series. We can't talk about Black series without talking about the color coded. Um, uh, packaging that they yeah, do it's where it's cool. got uh, this unique shade is exclusive to the acolyte so they every different oh, release they've got a different color that treatment that they put on it that's uh, cool and they spine really well with all yeah. the different illustrations that's cool really now nice. the big question on everyone's mind where are we going next <laughs> we're well, going to talk more. about this we've got we're, more star wars black series right? Pants, right no <laughs> <laughs> we have more uh black series figures from the archive, yeah, by the so, looks of it, which is pretty cool. So the archive collection is a way to reintroduce some figures that you may have missed in the original Black Series, but giving it a separate packaging, less premium packaging, but a way to still get the figures that were once released. So you're not competing with the secondary market value of the Black Series release. Oh, but you can still collect the figures if you're about out of box collector or you just want to add this to your collection. You can still get these figures, which is really, really cool. That is cool. I like all the little weathering effects and stuff. Like yeah, that well. yeah. Cool. And it comes with a transparent stand. So um, Grogu oh, yeah. can appear like he's floating. It comes with a yeah. froggy and um, a pendant and everything as well. That's sick. So we've got Grogu, we've got Ahsoka Tano. Soaks. Uh, we have Luke Skywalker, Imperial Light Cruiser, and we have uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Padawan figures. Um, so yeah, way to get a figure you may have missed added to your collection. It's awesome. It's a really good way to do it. I really like that they do that in this treatment. Um, it allows both collectors and fans to both partake I think the yeah. packaging's good though. The packaging it is, really like cool, it's still but, really yeah. nice packaging, but it's just, you know, it's a, it's a point of difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Like it, it's yeah. it's, uh, it's different. It's hang tag. It's not like. It's not, uh, it's not full boxed. Um, in, but in some ways, you can actually you can see, see more, more of it. You can see more of it. You can see more of it. So. Um, that's cool. Oh, all right, so uh, yeah, we got some fig pins. And what else we got? Hey, it's my rock. Uh, <laughs> What's my rock doing? All right, here? let's do the fig pins then. Right. So we have a whole bunch of these. to talk about. All right, we got Scooby Doo and Shaggy. Zoinks! I love that pose. We got some one piece pins. So we have the one and only Luffy in a kimono, um, and we also have I don't know this character. Who His is this? name is Barry. Oh, hang on. I, I do not know how to say this. Usahachi. <laughs> and we Usa have um, Tony Tony Chopper as well. And then we've got some My Hero Academia. Forgive me, I don't know these characters either. So Darby. Darby. And we've got Endeavor as well. Now we've got a bunch of Sanrio um, this crossover weird. with Attack on Titan, right? But cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got po Pochacho? Pocaco? I never know how to say this. Pochacho. We've got Pochacho. Mikasa. Oh yeah, Super sorry. Stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, there it is again. So as Karomi, right? <laughs> Once a year that comes yeah, yeah, yeah. up. <laughs> and then this is interesting. Um, we have Aaron as Pachacho. Oh, they're like oh, they're swippity yeah. swap themselves. And we got Erwin 
Erwin. As Hello Kitty. As Hello Kitty. And then we've got Hello Kitty here. And we've got Karumi here too. Yeah, they're all they're all the same, but they're all... Oh, it's all swipsy They're dressed at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're all different. Dressed at each other while still not being 100% themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Party. Yeah. Hey, back to action figures. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Gilly. So from Bandai, we have our message figure arts. These figures are amazing. They, they come, are they good. are packed with a lot of detail, have wicked articulation and a lot, a lot of accessories on such a tiny scale. So they are very, very impressive. Um, so this is Guile's outfit two from, I don't know which version of Street Fighter. Like every Street Fighter ever. Every Street Fighter ever. Okay, party. <laughs> um, so he's movable. Um, got all these different parts and everything. So he has like fighting effect parts that come yep. with him, like so. Um, and Swooshes, hands. sonic booms. Yeah, and like face plates and everything. I've always wondered mm -hmm. how much and what kind of product he uses in that flat top. Because that is... It's impressive, right? You can right? level that thing. That is sharp flat top. Yeah, it's insane. It's so good. We also have Sun Gohan, and he comes with a lot of face That's plates, a lot of faces. with very fine um, detailing as well. Like, look how Ooh, thin. The paintwork. Yeah, on it's those insane. Eyeballs. It's real good. Uh, lots of different interchangeable hands. Wicked articulation again, of course. Um, a full interchangeable head here, and he's got. Um, I don't know if you can see, but he's got a Wait. robe back uh, here yes. too. Yes. This is really cool. As so you can get him in the full get up there, right? Yep. Very cool. His, um, and his, uh, I don't know, what do you call this, gi, suit, whatever, is really cool. The folds and the fabric and everything. Yeah, really cool. And on the back, they give you an insight to just what kind of poses That's you can do as some quote. examples and stuff. Hi -ya! Yeah. All right. Really cool. We also have Bulma. Bulma. So this is really cute. Um, she comes with um, one of the Dragon Balls. She comes Find with her, it's a compass, I assume. Yeah, I've only like seen bits and pieces ball. of Dragon that's Ball. That's how she finds the ball. And she comes with a couple of different face plates. I'm quite a fan of this one here. That's a good yeah, that's expression, great. right? It's real, real good. And here's some examples of how you can pose her and everything. She is very, very cool. And we also have Whoa, her Bulma's motorbike. Motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, motorcycle. Yeah. Does Bomber come with that or you need to get Bomber set? So you need to get Bomber separately, but. You get, you get that little friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, um, is that just Goku? Mm. Hang on a sec. Sun Goku. Sun Goku. Yeah, so you get Sun Goku with the motorcycle, but you do need to, need to get, get Bomber separately. Um, but this is really cool. Um, so you can pose them in there and. It has so much stuff going on. Like, look at this. You can get the full scale of it there. And, and you can go for a little cruise together yeah. in the Capsule 9. Yeah, it's amazing. That's Really fun. cool, right? It's a lot of fun. And we got um, some Super, Super 7. Super 7 releases. Oh, no. All right, let's kick it off with the Conan Ultimates release. From Conan the Barbarian, we have Conan. <laughs> My rock. And the rock. My rock. Let's talk about the rock. <laughs> yeah, so this rock, uh, Luke mm. really wants his hands on it. But it's mine. He's rock. never going to get this I want rock. The rock. It's my rock. It's great rock. I found it. It's all mine. Uh, we got Conan, King Conan. Uh, now this is based on the original novels, I think. Or is that Schwarzenegger? Ah, uh, that's not Schwarzenegger. No, this is based on the original novels. Um, really, really intricate armor. Um, nice metallic paint detailing. And you might be thinking, man, that box is great. Look at those angles. I can see it from all Look at sides. All that brown yeah, and yellow. You yeah, you can. That's my, those are my colors. Uh, great sword, another great sword. sword. A great little sword sheath. Um, and then two interchangeable heads. One where he's looking off a little bit up, being like, ah, and this one where he's looking a bit more. Straight ahead? Straight ahead. <laughs> Straight down the line. Straight down the line. Um, he doesn't um, he doesn't mince his words. Really, really nice. Says it how he sees it. Uh, you got this nice cobblestone ba background in there. What I love about Ultimate figures is that they are laid out perfectly so that you can see every element yeah, in great. the packaging. Yeah. You don't have to take it out. But if you do want to take it out, then we've got a really, really great accessory, which is King Conan's throne. That's quite a throne. Comes with a spear, comes with his throne, so he can sit there. A little butt groove, you yeah, put his little butt right that. there, and uh, great metallic paint detailing. You've got this little carpet sculpted on there, uh, and cobblestone uh, base there. But yeah, really, really nice way if you want to get him out of the box that you can and display him. Great way to display him. Put his little spear, put a little spear in his hand, make him look, look, look like that. And then you can sit forward and be like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Um, oh, no. 
So that's cool. So that's probably the Ultimates line, which is their seven inch scale line. And if you're looking for something a bit smaller for your collection, well, we've got the three and three quarter scale line from Super 7, which are called Reaction. And Reaction Ooh. figures are Ooh. some really, 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 really cool figures. Down the bottom, we've got some Paul Peralta releases, um, which uh, this is wave four, I think. And we've got uh, Michael Gill. Um, we've got uh, Tony Hawk. Uh, we've got um, Steve... Car Caballero. Caballero, and we've got uh, Rodney Mullen. Rodney Mullen. Ooh. Uh, that crown's great. Um, that little uh, little scorpion face tongue action's great. Those shorts are really good. Um, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so um, look, this is called the Bones Bones Brigade. Bones Brigade. So Sick. if you're a fan of skate culture, well, this is a really good collaboration between Pal Peralta and uh, Super. Seven and Luke's definitely gonna grab that one. Um, we've got some GI Joe releases from Super Seven. We've got uh, Tiger Force Tavis Sooth Mercenary. Sorry, Ta <laughs> Tavis Sooth. Tiger Force Saber Tooth. Do you know what I said? <laughs> no. Tavis Sooth. So oh good. boy. <laughs> Saber Tooth. Tiger Force Tavis Sooth <laughs> Mercenary. Uh, we got the Red Jackal Weapon Supplier. With metallic head. That's great. Metallic uh, little arms. And we've got the Snow Serpent Polar Combat <laughs> Specialist. And then, based on the uh, Real American Hero comic series, we've got um, a little, uh, little snake eyes action. Oh! The comic on the back? Yeah. Have you all got this? No, 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 no. This is a different one. Because it's based on the comic. Oh, right, oh. right, right, right. right. Um, so this is like a special edition one. That's sick. Yeah. And you're thinking, I want that one. Yes. You do. I do. <laughs> Luke's getting it. Um, we've got a ghost face killer release. It's a killer release. It's ghost face. It is. Killer yep. release. Yep. yep. Um, That's where you use the trombones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the wave two release in the ghost face killer line. Um, so they're doing a really, really good, a uh, lot of good, um, kind of like rap. Collaborations like they're doing a lot of good music stuff at the moment. Yeah. Um, so if you want some uh, some Wu Tang, get involved. Yeah. Yeah. And know who it is? This is. Uh, that tuna. Yeah. So Super Seven had this um, series that is absolutely terrible. It's called the worst, and they just bring out the worst characters that they've made themselves. Yeah. I actually really love it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the worst is great. All the worst is actually the best. It's the best. Uh, really want to design a toy than an action figure. This glows in the dark. Uh, it's an authentic, posable action figure from Super 7 Reaction Collection. Um, and uh, it features Bachelor. Uh, as the most well-dressed member of the worst crew, Bachelor can now be seen flying around in the dark with his new glowing cape. He'll be doing his nightly routine of drinking blood and lint rolling his suit. He's a fashionable guy. Look at that. Uh, you got a little mixed media uh, action there. Yeah. Um, really, really like it. Um, Bachelor is great. It's like, uh, he's got a, yeah, he's cool. So these kind of, I feel like Super 7 are kind of t doing their own take on, if you've ever been to any con ever, there's someone set up making their own homebrew weird action figures. And Super 7 have been pioneers in this space, 100%. and they've just kind of legitimized yeah. themselves into doing licensed figures, but yeah. they really originated doing designer toys, and yeah. the worst is the evolution of these characters, and um, I'm a really big fan, and I'm a really big fan of their... Their, uh, their, their worst series. It's great. Uh, they've also got uh, another one called the, the Weirdest, and that's that's also pretty fun as well. It's pretty weird. Um, from Hasbro, we've got a Kenner uh, Star Wars Rebels, uh, Kenan Jarrus uh, release. Comes with the lightsaber, comes with the pistol. Um, this is part of the, it's not one of the retro Kenner figures. They've got two lines under the Kenner banner. One is this, where they've got more um, modern articulation. Um, and then they've got uh, the so you turn the thigh and put them in a few more poses. Yep. And then you've got oh, the retro one, which are more kind of stiff. More this like style, just, yeah, 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 um, of figure, um, more of this, Shoulders, yeah, yeah only, no five point knees. of articulation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, these turn to the waist. These are a lot more, a lot of fun things. So, uh, if you're a fan of the Rebels, well, then check this out. Sweet. What do you got holding in your hand? Well, there, if you're Bianca? a fan of Sesame Street, I have micro plushes from Head Start. So he's not a big bird. He's a micro bird. He's oh. a micro plush bird. 
He is very, very tiny. And we have a bunch of them, right? So we have Oscar the Grouch mm. in his go away trash can, which is amazing. Um, we have yeah, Super Grover. Yes. We have Abby, Abby as yeah, well Abby, with her, yeah, yeah, yeah. her oh, cool. cute Abby, little Abby. ponytail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Elmo. Elmo. And Cookie Monster. Nom, 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 nom. Cookies. And what's really cool about these two is that they've got like, you know, the yeah. token Muppet eyes. So these yeah, are like. Yeah, yeah. They're all a bit askew and all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really, Elmo's really good. good. Whereas eyes. the others have like embroidered eyes. So cool little point of difference yeah. there, right? But um, how about we pop off with some Funko? I like that word. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, <laughs> hey, we've got some uh, pop, culture, pop culture exclusive releases. Let's look at this uh, Terrifier Art the Clown with Glasses release. Now, this has a chance of a chase piece, which does have different colored uh, glasses, different colored outfit, and different pose. It's actually the same, except he's bloody. I'm you sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's, like, in a different... It's exactly the same. He's just bloodied. I feel like they mirrored it. I might be wrong. Maybe I just looked at a mirrored image. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I looked at it in the mirror because I was too scared to look at it straight on because oh, this is a yeah. terrifying he release. He is terrifying and, and a great so sculpt. This, this is the mm -hmm. hottest release of the year. Um, we've sold out of it individually. We are giving this unit away and we are also still selling it in a mystery box. You can get um, this pop plus a few extras um, for a really good collector friendly price. Um, so don't miss out on this release. It's uh, it's not coming back. No. This is it. Yeah, if you're a fan of the Terrifier films, you're gonna want it for your collection. If you haven't heard of the Terrifier films, um, this is my warning that it is gratuitous satirical violence and you may not like what you see. Um, but I was a big fan, so yeah, uh, I'll be fun. picking this one up. That's kind yeah. of the point of it. It's real good. It is. It's violence for violence sake. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and when you think it's gone too far, it really just pushes it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It just keeps going. It's great. Um, Black Clover. This guy. So we have Yuno. Know. So this is Green. the spirit of um, Zephyr. Bianca, I don't know you, if I'm saying do, that correctly. Do you know who this is? I don't know who this is. Um, are you okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm hip. I'm with it. I know. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next one, <laughs> we have a glow in the dark, a Goku glow ultra in the dark interesting. Metallic. Yeah, metallic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's instinct. got metallic eyes and hair, which is pretty oh, cool. Hell, yeah. And and Groot. We have Groot as Black Panther. Yes, yeah, so this is part of Marvel's We Are Groot celebration, which is uh, because they haven't really made that many movies this year. So they're like, all right, what else can we do to celebrate Marvel and celebrate the fandoms? Yep. So mm. they've done uh, the We Are Groot. Now, of course, they did the I Am Groot series in the last couple of years, but this is We Are Groot, where Groot takes on um, kind of a, a costume of his uh, companion Avengers. And this He's is cosplaying. This one is uh, Black is. Panther, which is cool. Speaking of costumes. Yeah, we have this great four pack here. Spaceman, Demon, Star Child, Come in, it's Kiss. But in they're in, yeah. So we have like a cyan. We've got like a like a ruby. A, yeah, um, and then a purple and a green. Yeah. So it's yeah. Cool. this it's like stage it is. It's stage lighting. Exactly. And it's hidden, um, yeah. If you look at the the art yeah, on the back yeah, of the yeah, box, yeah, yeah. it gets the point across a bit more, right? It's, it's. I would argue this is better than seeing Kiss live owning this product. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, Kiss are pretty fun. <laughs> they're pretty fun. <laughs> Hey, we've got um, another Black Clover release here. We Licked. have Light. Light. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Light. 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 <laughs> and we got some DC superheroes Christmas and Christmas theme. versions. So we have a Harley Quinn and we have Batgirl and Catwoman. I really like the Catwoman design. I think that's really cool how they've put her in completely all red like a Santa suit. Instead of a, a whip, she got a candy cane? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty um, neat. Hey. Oh, but it's got Christmas lights on it. Oh, there's got a whip. That's cool. Hey, this one's great. <laughs> it's Tony the Tiger, 84, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is, of course, different than um, some of the previous releases. My favorite Tony the Tiger is from the 60s. Um, that's the pop I have. It's one of the few pops I own, that Tony the Tiger pop. Oh. I think it's a great character design. I'm not as big a fan of this uh, updated um, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Randy Savage style, Tony the Tiger, but he still but enjoys the cereal. You, be? You, you said it yourself, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Yeah, but... Who doesn't love the Macho Man? Well... <laughs> macho Man. You can replace 
Ooh, Macho Man with ooh, great. And it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> uh, but he still likes the cereal. Yeah. Still got his uh, classic bandana. Uh, but he's just a little bit more of a, a, a beefy bro. Yeah, which are you is, a yeah. Marvel's Corn Flakes fan, but too lazy to put sugar on it yourself? Mm. Well, Frosted Flakes Frosted might be for you. Frosted Flakes are for you. Um, now, uh, if you're a fan of wet, hot American summer, whether it be the original film, whether it be the, uh, the sequel series, whether it be the prequel series, which is way, way later, um, and everyone's looking super old for the prequel, but that's part of the fun. Um, it's really, really great. Uh, we've got Alan Shemper. We've got Gene with the talking can. Uh, nice. And we've got Andy, um, which Paul Rudd, um, which, uh, which, is, which is a lot of fun. Um, I like that they're doing this. Yeah, I'm seeing some resemblances here. I didn't wear double denim today, but if I did, you betcha it would be pretty similar. Um, so, yeah, 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 I, I re like, in one hand, they're like, all right, they're making Wet Hot American Summer, I just like, clearly, there's not enough new movies coming out, but <laughs> on the other hand, it's like, well, they're making Wet Hot American Summer stuff, so that's really, really cool. I don't think yeah. it's been working nice yeah. released from this film before. So that's fun. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of this movie. I'm a big fan of the releases. I think that's really, 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 really cool. Uh, what about Parks like, and Rec? Yeah, Leslie, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but this is a yep. Yep. This, this is uh, Leslie Knope in her wedding dress. Um, it would be perfect to com perfect companion piece for your, um, you know, your new lounge fly wedding attire. Yeah. Um, Detail but is the paint on that? Skirt? So they have done a print, I think, on this yeah. um, because uh, her dress paper. is made of paper. Um, and if you're familiar with the show, then this is a nice reference. If you're not familiar with the show, then um, no it's just going to look like a weird skirt. But um, uh, it's always an open and wedding dress, so That's great. Um, check that out. We got uh, some new WWE releases, and yo, it's me, it's me, it's D D P. D -D -P. Diamond Dallas Page, uh, really more of a yoga teacher than he is a wrestler these days, but um, he <laughs> D -D -P is. Yoga. Uh, he like if you're a D WCW fan, um, you're gonna want to check this out. Um, if you only know Diamond Dallas Page from his brief stint in. WWE, then um, you, you know, I guess you're not really, you didn't get a chance to appreciate the uh, the character work that this man once did. Um, but we've got a Diamond Dallas Page uh, pop vinyl figure here. And then we've got The Miz, and this is uh, Miz when he won Money in the Bank years ago, and we've got um, him with his WWE Championship. Uh, we've got him with the uh, the Money in the Bank. Uh, essentially, Money in the Bank, you've got to climb a ladder. You, If you beat all the other six contenders to the top of that ladder, grab that briefcase, you have a guaranteed title shot um, for the for the championship belt that you can cash in at any time. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. It is. Uh, it's a fun little uh, fun little thing that they do every year. Where you never know if someone's too. coming to take your title. And then we've got um, NWO Wolfpack Hulk Hogan, and NWO yeah. Wolfpack is uh, a little split off face team of NWO, so essentially in wrestling, there's heels, which are the bad guys, there's faces, which are the good guys, and uh, Hulk Hogan jumped from Classic NWO to NWO Wolfpack, uh, which was red and black, not white and black. And uh, this is him with the, uh, the, uh, the the WCW Championship, with spray painted this time in red uh, with the mm -hmm. NWO. Uh, so another WCW reference there. Awesome. We got Yellowstone Pops. Um, this is the second wave of Yellowstone Pops. We've got Lloyd Pierce. Is that Sam Elliott? Yep. No. Yep. No, it's not. He's in the he's in the the prequel. All right. Yeah. Um, then we got uh, John Dutton. Um, then we got Tita. Dutters. We got Beth Dutton, and Tita. we got uh, Jimmy. Um, so you can add a few more characters to your Yellowstone collection. Good old Jimmy. And to close out the show, we've got a couple of pop and tea sets to show you guys. We have this holiday themed pop and tea. Um, this uh, this trooper is up to snow good. If you can oh, see oh, that oh, on the oh, screen. Oh, ah, oh. Ha, it's so good. So that oh. pop comes with like a pearlescent kind of metallic-y yeah. shiny paintwork. Yeah, to look like snow, oh, right? Stick hands. <laughs> yeah. It is really cool. And you can only get that pop in this pop and tea yeah, set. Yeah, so if you yeah, want yeah. that pop, you okay. need to get this set. So this particular treatment of this pop is yeah. only available in here. You can't, right. they have released this pop in a standard uh, release before, but this one's the only way to get this. Comes with the t-shirt. We've got various sizes available. 
It's worth checking out. And we also have this really cute stitch um, design and he, he's, he's playing the ukulele, having a grand old time. That pop is flocked as well, so it makes it extra stinking cute. Stinking. I just love it. Absolutely stinking cute. Wonderful. And the last thing we've got to show you guys is a Biddy pop stand. It is the Death Star and it comes with Biddy Emperor Palpatine and Biddy Darth Vader. But he's got a he's got a glowy face. Like check it out. You probably see Ooh. that design a bit better there. I'm not sure what that's referencing. Well, he's getting electrocuted by um oh, yeah, he's by too, Palpatine. He's getting by ah. And you can actually see it under yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Under yeah. him, he's got a little, yeah. little electricity yeah. kitchen. Yeah. And then you've got Palpatine, right. who's casting electricity on him at this point in time. So yes. this is the scene from uh, Return of the Jedi where they are fighting uh, in the Death Star. And I really like the sculpting of the Death Star. They've got it where it's um, it's incomplete. This is Death Star 2, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really cool. That's radical. And just like that, it's prize time. Ooh, We're going to give away some prizes. This week's prizes are the... Uh, Art the Clown with glasses, pop culture exclusive release. Uh, let's see, it's been see who's gonna win this release. Oh, no, that way. Yep. 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 <laughs> Whoa! Extreme close up. Whoa! Whoa! Spin. Brad Harris, congratulations, you want the clown glasses. Congrats. Send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your personal information, and your email address. We'll get that sorted. We're gonna spin next for the kiss. Is that what it said? Yes. Kiss. Kiss. Kiss for pack. Woo! So I'm going to be packing this Kiss collection uh, and sending it over to Jessica Milligan. Congratulations. Woo! Just send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal information, and your email address. And we'll uh, get that packed and shipped and on its way to you very shortly. Woo! Um, now we're going to spin one last time. Bianca, I feel like we're going to give away a lounge for that bag. What, what one? Yeah, what one yeah. do you want to give away? Yeah, I feel like we got to give buddies? away that Cross Buddies bag, right? This cross it's buddies super cute. Right here. Um, I really dig this one. Uh, which is, uh, right, because the character's uh, name's Doug. So uh, Doug. Uh, uh, uh. Spin. It's great. <laughs> And Brad sorry, one, sorry, right? Brad. Yeah, we don't we don't do two prizes in one week. Yeah, that's we, a thing that we we spread the love with prizes. U.S. patent pending. Yeah. Uh, Tamara Saunders, congratulations, well done, you have won this crossbody's bag. Send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal information, and your email address, and we'll get it sorted for you as soon as possible, which will probably be very early next week. So yeah. keep your eye out. We'll be sending these to the winners. Which is fun. Uh, guys, next weekend, we will be in Canberra at Oz Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our first time in Canberra. Yeah, it's really exciting. Hey! So if you are a Canberra collector, well, head on down to the establishment in which Oz Comic Con is being held. It is Exhibition Park in Canberra, that which is called Epic. So come along for an epic day out Ooh. and kids enter free That's for this good. event. So yep. um, if you are, um, you know, in camera with your kids, uh, maybe you just fly and fly out for, you know, parliament and you need to buy your kids some love on the way back. Well, come on down to pop culture as well. That'll be worthwhile. We'll, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll have a lot of, we'll have a, we'll have a lot of fun stuff. Yeah. We're right next um, to Cosplay Central. So while you're checking out all the cosplay and everything, go get sugared up at the nerd stage, check out Cosplay Central. We're right opposite cosplay yes. central we have a lot of fun stuff uh to show you so um come and check us out there it's gonna be a lot of fun next well, well, weekend next weekend camera yeah. uh but until then uh we'll catch you next friday uh because none of us are going to camera um for another episode of this and that'll be a lot of fun too so thank yeah, you party. for watching it's been a week in review i'm andy this is bianca we've got luke behind the camera and courtney running the show today we'll catch you next week for another exciting episode uh stay safe happy collecting enjoy your weekends go have fun go drink a tiki go drink that tiki go and have a fun tiki mug action it's gonna be fun drink a tiki it's friday night everybody have a good time let's 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 bye let's... <laughs> bye <laughs>